things cool on some of these cars. See the old cow vent. That was air conditioned for the 1941. I just end up on some good tires now. Man, this. Just love a grill on these cars. Headlight rings, everything had some sort of style. The so, old Mayflower trim a thimble. These little bitty tail lights. But look at the trunk. Look how big the trunk is in this car. They called this a business coupe because it didn't have a back seat. And the trunk extended way up to the drive behind the, the driver's seat. So, you know, if a salesman or somebody in business, you know, they'd go door to door or go traveling around, they'd have room to put all of their, you know, their demos and all that stuff in the back. And a few spare parts, looks like an old clutch and an old starter. And we'll get this out soon eventually. And I'll get some more video or an update on it for right now. Check out those bumpers. Those add-on bumper wings and the bumper guard right in the center. The lines, you know, stamped into the fenders and stuff on this car. Yeah, almost looks like a 40 Ford body. Yeah, that style. You know, 41. You see them. Body lines there. Stamped in. That right there is real metal. <laughs> so, handles. I was going to show you is the, there's no back seat in this car. So that trunk extended on up through where the back seat was. So there's a little room for your bag or what have you. But no back seat. Yeah, how cool is that? This car would have been sitting in the barn for 30 some years and it's still in relatively good shape. I'm gonna slide in, okay? So, if everybody knows what that little button is right there, that's actually the starter. You don't just turn the key and it fire up. Yeah, you know, there's the gas pedal and you hit the starter button with your foot. It is special deluxe by Platinum. What's the dash on this? I guess that was wood grain. I don't know if I can zoom in on that. What a cool car! The instrument cluster. That's pretty cool. Stamp steering wheel center too. Huh. You talk about how these old cars were built. That's a uh, that's a telltale sign right there. How well, it's, you know the doors close up on this car. There's the first latch. There's the second one. Tight as a drum. Wow. No need to slam them, huh? <laughs> I got newer cars that uh, yeah, it takes more effort to close the doors on them. Just gonna set this trunk lid down just a hair. Let's see that uh, right above the latch there, which is pretty cool. There it is. I don't know if you can make that out or not. But that's got a 1970 tag on it. So this car's been sitting, was last on the road in 1970. Let's see some of the body lines are stamping. Give it a good clean handle. Yeah. See how solid this car is. I'm trying to get, uh, I can get a better shot of it here.
Must got shot a field agent 413 over there. <laughs> One day in. And end this video right here. Uh, this is Field Agent 880 coming to you for Bob at Bob's Classic Cars and Parts. I am sure we'll have an update on this one once it uh, once it makes its debut out in the sun. But uh, you know, enjoy this one if you do. Uh, hit like and subscribe, and we'll keep bringing you more and bring you an update on this one as progress continues, bringing it back to life. It's Field Agent 880 out. But wait, field agents, did you get it running? All right, friends and neighbors, here is all ages. It's field agent 880 coming to you by Bob, Bob Cars and Mark. And there you have it. Flat six coming back to life. Let me give it a little squirt here. Look at that. is a true survivor, far and kind, all the good words that everybody attaches to old cars nowadays. This is it. I believe that's a 1941 Plymouth, and it's been sitting for years in a barn, and it is just now uh, made its way into the hands of, some, uh, of somebody who's going to uh, at least give it a second lease on life after sitting all this long. Uh, I'm going to do a walk around and a good video on this car because it is so cool. This is a two-door coupe, businessman's coupe, no back seat. And it has been sitting for a long time. I've got some pictures of it when it first come home, and I think I've got some pictures coming of what it was like when it was found. So hang on, uh, uh, yo, enjoy the ride. This is a cool car. All right, friends and neighbors, you heard it. That's what it is. Well, if you heard that, 35 years of sitting, and it's still still got a little life left in it. Got some tires and rubbers pumped up holding there. Look at that. So, some of the, uh, the break-in instructions. How cool was that? You can tell this one's been offline for a while. When's the last time you seen a water bill that cheap? It's from 1963. It's one of some of the papers that were found in this car. Tells you how long it's been sitting up. Some of the stories behind these old cars is just as cool as the car. You know, some of the treasures you find in these old cars just make you, you know, step back. I know everybody thinks about when they, uh, you know, when you have to go through the brakes on one, you put a master cylinder on it and go on nowadays, take the old one off, either send it in as a core or throw it away. That is a 
Brake Master Cylinder Repair Kit, the Rebuild Kit. Oh my goodness, look at that old filter. The Fram PB and a half P for DeSoto six cylinders. Hey, it even fits a Kaiser and the Plymouth six. How old some of these parts are. There's, hey, it gives you the instructions on how to put that one together. Oh my! The whole thing, the oh golly, that's got uh, uh, yeah, that's canister and all. You're, wow, what does that tag say? There it is. Frame replacement. <laughs> cool stuff. And that's by Wizard the Hydraulic Brake Master Cylinder Repair Kit. Found in the glove box of this car. It's been sitting over 30 years. As you can see inside that it's all in there. Still looks usable. Can't see the date on it. Looks like 1950 or something. 315 of 50 something. Oxford Auto Parts, Hillsborough Street. Huh. Be cool to see if that place was still in, in business in some fashion. There's the invoice for that filter. It's got part number paid cash. How much was that? What's it say? Four dollars. Four dollars and forty five cents. Wow. Yeah, servicing a car was a little bit cheaper back then, wasn't it? Oh my. <laughs> How cool was that? We're replacing the filter. That's back there. I got a picture of the little guy that used to come out and check the oil for you when you filled up with gas. So that's still got the parts. Shoot, that might come in handy when uh, we get ready to put, get the brakes up on it. Yeah. You just can't find this stuff every day. Oh, yeah, it's a time capsule. Gauge is still working on it. Nice and dang it. Yeah. All the dirt. The stickers are easy to put on it. 